Outlook has a database of equations and symbols you can insert into the body of your message. Just make sure that your cursor is flashing in the body. Then come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Symbols group, and there you go, Symbol. Click on it. you got some default symbols here that you can choose, like a heart. And of course, if you have a big heart, you want to go ahead and select it, treat it just like regular text. And in the Mini Formatting Toolbar, you can increase the size and change the color. Let's do red. Oh, that's nice. And then if you want something more than what you see here when you click on the drop down, then go down to more symbols and you've got the font symbol. You can scroll through that font to find out if there's anything you could use there. If not, you can click on the drop down arrow, choose another type of font or to get more graphical, just click and drag this down below to the W's. And you got web dings. I usually use wing dings. And you got wingdings 2 and 3. In any case, you can go ahead and sort through here to find what you're looking for. And recently used, I'm just going to do that. Go ahead and select it. Click on Insert. Close out. And of course, it's the same size of what I recently had selected here. Let me click on the Message tab, 48. Click and drag. That's also 48. And you can change the size of it. Come up here. You can do something smaller. Even change the color. So I have a heart. Check. Let's go ahead and hit Insert. Now for equations, come back up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Symbols group, and you can click on the drop-down arrow if you had one saved, but since we're just starting, we'll click on Insert a New One, or let me click off, you can just click on Equation, automatically inserts a field that's the same size of what we set up above, size 48, but for the equation now. And you get its Related Contextual Design tab to design your equation, so you can go ahead and type in the symbols or click on these symbols here, I mean, when I say type, you can hit the equals key on the keyboard. You can type it in here. Let me go ahead and do something simple like a fraction. Do a stacked one. Insert it. Hit the space bar. And I can type in minus or I can come up here and find a minus. There we go. Space bar, stack fraction. And then space bar, type in equals. I think you know where I'm going with this. In any case, I'm going to keep it simple so I can look really super smart because, you know, when you have one half minus one fourth, wait, don't tell me, it's going to be one, denominator, numerator, fourth. Cool, I did it. In any case, you can go ahead and click and drag and select that as well. Come up here, click on the message tab if it's too huge and or if it's too small, just go ahead and find a nice size. And then you can click outside of it, hit enter a couple of times, then type in some more text or finish your message, well, text. And then if you want to go back to it, click inside of it, you get that holding field that you can click on the drop down arrow and I'm not going to cover this in its entirety but I will get you the basics. I go over it in greater detail in my Microsoft Word training video so this is just enough to get you started on it but you can go ahead and save the equation. The defaults professional you can change it to linear so it goes linear format and not professional or stacked as it were and then change to inline justifications so if you want to do left goes over to the left. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.